So Rod drove all the way down to Florida for Animal Con and to give his dad his truck. On the way down, he had to make two fish rescues along the way. One was in Maryland and the other one was in Georgia. On the way down, his truck broke down. So the alternator broke, which left him stranded in the burning heat with the two kids. And Rod said to me, he's like, we're f***ed. So he called the nearest auto repair company and they dropped everything they were doing to help us out and change the alternator. This way they could make it back to Florida. These guys were super nice and we feel like these kinds of people deserve to be shouted out because without them, we wouldn't have made it to Florida. So thank you, Harrison and Ben at Auto Repair Experts in Valdosta, Georgia. Oh, we met a couple of awesome people along the way. So shout out to Edwin for recognizing us at the gas station and wait a minute. <laughs> Anyway, here's our first stop. All right, guys, we're at our first stop here in Maryland, and we're gonna be rescued this Arapaima. As you can see, her eyes a little scratched up from the big arowana on this side. There's a stingray here, a datinoid, and that big arowana albino. It almost looks like a platinum back there. It's beautiful. This one is what's going after this guy. So we're gonna take him and um, bring him to a new home. It's got a nice Florida gar here. It's a beautiful tank, it's about 500 gallons, but eventually this bad boy is gonna outgrow the tank. So right now the goal is we're gonna put him in this bag, fill it up with water. We got the oxygen. My friend over here, introduce hey, yourself, you? brother. Hey, hi, my name is Zen. Nice Zen? to meet you back, yeah. Hey, why did you call us to come pick up this fish? Because you guys are amazing. Thank you, see, I trust see? you got more than anybody else. And that, what, you got that fish from us? Yep. And uh, right now, you said that it's fighting with the arowana, right? Yeah. Unfortunately. Pick on everybody. So it's a big tank, but eventually it's gonna need, you know, to go a big home. But this this thing right right here is beautiful, dude. You got that from? You got that from Kevin? Kevin. Yeah. You, you bet it, because I would leave the arapaima here. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Beautiful. It looks like a golden base, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah, because it's very red. And then you got a common plaque there. So what's up with you? You got all these nice fish, but you have a common plec. Why is that? You should have a luteus in there or something. Um, you like those? I like common plec. I don't wear them in my ass. Don't they do that? The job is okay. That's it. I clean the tank. But I, I, a lot of people say that they, they uh, dirty the tank more than they clean it. You agree with it? Yeah. And all right. They're, they're perfect. I like them. Yeah, they're beautiful fish. Oh, fish are beautiful. But I think, you know, maybe once you move there a Pima, you're gonna have a more space in there. Maybe add a nice, Definitely. nice luteus, right? Definitely. And then you have another fish in that room, yep. which is the bigger pleco. Bigger version. Okay, so we're gonna take both of them, ship them back to uh, New York, and Kevin's there to receive them. And then tomorrow we're gonna drive down again, and then tomorrow we'll have a very big fish to rescue. And I'm very worried about this one because they're not easy to ship. So we're gonna go ahead, start getting the process set up here, and show you guys what we will do. Yeah, this is gonna be a challenging because this arapaima is gonna start losing it soon. So the key is to try to get it as fast as possible without letting it go crazy. Like that. Oh. Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. Problem with these animals is if they go crazy and you allow them to have space, they will hurt themselves. That was it. That was actually easier than I thought. So yeah, this is the right size right here. Anything larger than this to ship is gonna be very difficult. We need a very big box and a lot of water. This is perfect amount of water. We're gonna fill it up with air, take it to the airport, ship it out. You got a little wet just on the splash, right? So job is done here. We're gonna get this guy packed up with all the equipment we had to bring and get back on the road for a second rescue. We'll see you guys over there. Guys, before I leave, I just wanna show you this. This arowana here is probably 26 inches. And you said he's how old? He's only two years old. Only two years old. So what it means is if you give him enough space, hey, calm down there, bud. If you give enough space and food, these fish will grow. So if you're thinking about getting arowana, make sure you have a tank large enough like this guy because they will outgrow the tank. Yeah, this one, this one came in really good quality. No drop buys, even the guard going off the stingray. Everybody was looking really good. It's very hard for you to find an animal like this at this size with no drop by. This one's still young and he already has a little bit of drop by. Look at that beautiful fish. Whenever you want to rescue this one, let me know, okay? All 
Alright, now everybody must back up. It's gonna be a little harder to hear because this muffler is not small. No, but when you hang out with Bay Jai, you feel old, you know? <laughs> so, I appreciate thank you, you calling. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'll go get you. Thanks, man. We'll see you guys at the airport, and then we gotta head down. All right, guys, we're here at the airport. We're gonna start loading up this box. It wasn't in the sun for too long, which is good. Oh my god, it's so heavy. I can feel the airplane like jump. Lisa has to go back in the truck with the kids. I'm gonna drop it off here. And hopefully, no problem, no problems with this one because we did lose a big peacock bass with Delta because they messed up the flight. So hopefully this one will have no problems. I'll see you guys in Georgia. All right guys, so you just saw Rod pack this fish and boom, here it is. We just picked it up from the airport. Good news is when we lifted up the box, he was thrashing. So we already know it's alive. Let's open it up and get this thing acclimated and get it into the tank. Now it was quite jumpy, so hopefully, oh, okay, let's see here. So it looks like the inner bag is deflated. So let's get working on this right away. It's a good thing that we were able to get it early in the morning. You see what happened here? He must have popped the inner bag. So we're gonna have to work fast here because he's running out of air. Arapaimas are surface breathers. So when the bag collapses like that, they can't get air. So this is gonna be very critical. Let's hurry up and uh, untie this real quick. See, look at that. See? Okay, so it's a good thing we had this. Close up the bag, don't let me get it out. All right, we're gonna get this bag out. A good size fish, a beautiful fish. Come on, let's show everybody. Right? The water's a little bit cloudy, but that's to be expected. And uh, let's, just, oh, let's just start acclimating it right away. It's a, it's a good, strong fish. Beautiful color. Slowly, yeah. You see, there's a couple of scales in the bag. So he must, he probably was thrashing a little bit in the box. <laughs> okay, it's a very active fish. It's a good thing we have this tall liner bag. If not, it be all over the place. So, we'll get back to you in a little bit. Let me acclimate this for about like 20 minutes or so and I think it'll be good. Alright guys, so the fish is fully acclimated now. Um, I want to take a closer look at the eye, so why don't you come on in here. The fish seems to be a little bit more calm after we change the water. Let me try to turn him around so you can see it. Look at the see it? Okay, so judging from what I see here, the eye looks like it got banged in. Probably, I would think this happened a while ago. And maybe he was in a small, tight tank. There must have been something like you see over there, like a bulkhead fitting or a piece of PVC or a rock. Maybe he just hit right into it and it smashed the eye in. I don't know if that will get better, but let's get him into the tank right now. I'm gonna choose to net him instead of bringing the whole bag up only because I never like to transfer possibly old water, that transport water from into the tank. So we're just gonna go right in right here. All right, come on. There you go. So it's definitely got beautiful color. It's definitely a healthy fish. It's nice thick body. Now we just gotta make sure nobody bothers him. You see the red tail cat is already sniffing the fish. Okay, there he goes, he's breathing. He's kind of swimming a little bit like turned, right? A little bit sideways. But that's probably just him still being dizzy. Look, he's kind of like a 45 at an angle there. I think that might be from being in the box struggling when it was out of air. So let's uh, keep a close eye on him. 
for the next few days, I'm sure he'll do fine. So that was the first part of the rescue and you're gonna see the second part. I'm gonna send you back to Rod right now. All right, we're finally here. After all those hours driving, kids are actually doing okay. Ryan, you okay? What? Uh, he doesn't even know. He doesn't even know what's going on. Where are we again? Um, Georgia. Georgia, but the, more like Tennessee than Georgia, right? right? I kind of lied to yeah. you a little bit. I said we're going, it's on the way to Florida. There you go. You got a huge, huge pond, beautiful. Man, I would love to have this in my backyard. I don't even know how many thousand gallons pond is this, but I went inside it ready, got the boxes in, met the guys, really cool dudes. Zach. Hey. What about cocoa? Well, is it Coke it. or beer? No, Coke. Coke. <laughs> What's up, buddy? This is Good Zach. You. This is Buddy. It's Ryan. Ryan. Oh, that's my son's name. I was telling them that you two years ago you reached out. Oh, look at that. Right? You reached out about yep. the knife. I mean, the the vampire. So we've been holding on for two years. Yep. Right. Just and been barely feeding it, keeping it small so we can ship it. <laughs> <laughs> true. That's true. And then, question: How long do you have him for? Oh gosh, how long has it been, Ryan? It's been. Three, three, four three years. years, a little over three years. And he's always been doing good, eating good. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, eats, the fish look pretty healthy. Real, everything. So let's see. Yeah, this guy is a big ababa, right? Oh, look at that. He's ready. Six, no, eight, I'll let eight, you do it. I'll, eight, let, eight, I'll, eight, let, eight, I'll eight. let you do it. Yeah. So how how old is this guy? Oh, uh, we got him. What? Three years ago. Yeah. He was about I don't know, foot long, about three years ago. Yeah. Then right now he's about what? 28, 30 inches? Yeah, something. His name is Francisco. <laughs> now, they got two monsters, right? Yeah. That we're going to be shipping back. So you guys hunt curry to eat or? No, usually uh, just for predator control. Also just, it keeps them from eating people's cats and dogs. Well, not so dogs. They'll kill the dog, but they don't necessarily eat them. They just want the dog to get off their McDonald's. You got know? it, yeah. What's popular here? Coyote hunting, deer hunting. Yeah, for the most part, a lot of people do it. Um, I've hunted all my life, fished all my life. Um, turkey yeah, hunting. Turkey hunt. I'm not quite as bloodthirsty as I used to be. Uh, I haven't shot a deer here on my property ever. I've killed coyotes in the backyard. I've seen bobcats. Uh, I, yeah, I had some chickens, and uh, the reason I started hunting coyotes was they killed my chickens, so now they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> so then I walked in and I see this, and I said, F <laughs> I'm not leaving here today. So what's the story with this guy here? I've had it about a year and a half maybe. And I got it when it was uh, Hoplia Saimara. And I got it when it was about three inches, about half a dollar bill. This is his tail yeah. sticking out. So I can't wait to see his face. But we're gonna grab this guy here first. And then second is gonna be Pyara. Hydraulicus Armada. Uh, he lost a tooth last night, just for no reason, it's just time. Uh, doesn't have a name. Um, he eats everything too. Uh, he, I don't know. Had him eat pellets, high calorie mass of ore. Uh, the center. This box right here, would you say it was what, like 32, oh, 36? Three, three feet by 30 inches, yeah. So it should have plenty of space for him. Yeah. Now, the problem that we have here is the three of us are going to have to try to catch these guys, put in a truck. And I did a little bit of wrong calculation. <laughs> I was thinking I was 30 minutes from the airport and I'm uh, an hour and a half, right? Yeah, you better give yourself two. Yeah. Two hours, yeah, with crazy kids in the car, yeah, about two hours. So the goal is to get them by five o'clock to Delta Cargo, so they're gonna screw up, because one time they actually screwed up and killed, uh, I had a 30 inch peacock bass. Yeah. And it was as fat as my hand like this, and it, they messed up the flight, put a different ride, and then they put the fish in the freezer, and they arrived dead. That's awesome. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to do. So I, we paid for nothing <laughs> for that yeah. one. But all right, so let's get started. You get some? It, it huh. sounded like you got some in there. Uh, I wouldn't tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> let's take a look. Let's put him in there, and then uh, see. He's he's. So looks are you like gonna grab him? I'll. I'll, 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 I'll I already got him with your arm. You're taller than me. Yeah, let me get this stool. That's how you get away with <laughs> yeah, it. Is. Yeah. Dude, honestly, I believe the wolf fish is the most aggressive. Fish water. Yeah, you agree? It's the most, most aggressive, right? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Fish definitely. Scared anything. I had one of these and 10 tiger fish, and he ate them all. <laughs> <laughs> and they were the same size. <laughs> so, guys, he's a oof. Oh, he's biting the net. He's just yeah, look, look, look. Oh! Look Oh, he's pissed. Fingei's gonna love you. <laughs> <laughs> Eat. 
<laughs> don't want to know it like his player's gills. Oh yeah, dude. He's, yeah, let's get closer. What are you gonna say? He's gonna he's gonna try to go for your hand too. Look, look. keep right looking. Look. Try his hand. Oh man, dude. <laughs> Are you scared? No, <laughs> no, but I'm very, very cautious. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll distract him. Yeah. Oh, he's out. Did he get out? Yeah, yep. he came out. What in the world? Dude. Where'd he go? He's back, back there. Corner. Corner. All right. Well, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Which way is his head facing? He's, uh, he's facing the back of the tank right here. Ooh. Oh, you can tell you worked at a fish store before. <laughs> All right, I kid you not, one time I was packing one of these and he jumped out and grabbed my hand and I was bleeding everywhere, so. I guarantee you. <laughs> what, do you think we'll do it again? Close his neck. Yeah, I'll close it. Yeah, I'll say he's what, 13 for 14? I don't know. He might be bigger. Bigger than that. 15? Maybe. 16. <laughs> I'm not scared. You don't really want to try. My, I'm 6'1", and that's my hand that's up above him. So, yeah, so. You want me to touch him? You yeah. saw that? Yeah. You saw that? <laughs> 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 Here, let me get you this. He did say it. He's like, let me yeah. put a towel. He said, well, I'll try. Guys. What we're trying to do right now is get the air out so we can fill it up with oxygen. Yeah. You, want, you want to fold this or you want to. I don't care. You tell me what you want me to do. All right, hold the bag. Good place to go. Get close to that. We both know what's going on, so there you go. Dude, this is even kind of worse because you don't know if the fish is gonna bite or not. You gonna lay the bottom? Yeah, I'm gonna lay it. Yeah. I've got more rubber. It's going nuts in here. So to go, I gotta no, grab that nice. corner and flip it without him biting us. So you wanna distract him with your pinky on this side? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here, I'll, I'll pull this one. We can do one more here on this bag just in case. Yeah. Okay, guys, check it out. So this is plenty of water. Plenty of bags big enough that he can still turn around, and you'll be fine all the way. I think he'll last two days in here. The I way he just packed. Yeah, they're, they're tough too. So if, if Delta doesn't toss him around and he doesn't poke the bag, this double bag, and we're putting a liner bag on it just in case. What happened, you? Uh, so this guy. Oh, so by the way, off or you really did. Oh, I really did. Cut off. That's what that IR looked like. When oh, I guys, it. check it out. Check this. Here, so I'm sorry for you. Sick, oh yeah, he was bad sick. Bacterial infection turned to fungal, or parasitic turned to bacterial turned to fungal, and he came through it. That was and when he was, was about five inches long. And I was into that beast. Yeah, so we definitely just, have to yeah. make sure you got him alive all the way there. Yeah. yeah. I never really used that. You do. Man, I like that. Yeah, I'll hold it so you can focus on the fish. Ryan, you want to get closer just to Look, I already got it. Yeah, you got it ready? Yeah. Ah, rat! Dude, that's why I let you do it. He's all right. He just needs to turn over. He's good. Yeah. He didn't heat himself or nothing. Nah, he's good. That was amazing. He needs some, he needs some uh, uh, more water. Yeah, let's put a little bit more. Because you don't want to make this too heavy either because airlines can be like, nope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, now it's started. It started. Yes. I just want to say thank you to Ryan here. Brother, what's the name of the company? Get Tanked. Get Tanked. So, anybody around the area, call you up. Yep. Hey, I got a monster fish. All right, I know Rod. I'll send it to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you? I'm taking this one. You keep mine in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. Let's put it on the side. Just there, so it doesn't push here, it. Yeah. Place there there you go. Here. Put it on there. Here. And there you go. This way, he doesn't push the air down. So I think this is gonna make. I think it's gonna make it fine. We'll hope for the best. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna put the camera down, rush to the airport, and hopefully, we'll see him back in New York when we get back. I'm all here. It's not super hot today, so we're, we're gonna be okay. Now we're gonna get the big box. It's okay. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'll move. I'll wipe. So guys, he wants to feed the alba before we leave. This fish right here is one of the, a lot of times customers ask, oh, can I put him on anything else? And we say no, just because of things like this. Watch this. Here's the fish. So you got, this is a what, bluegill? Yeah, it's about five inches, six inches. So five you just inches. got it from the pond. Yeah. Ready? Oh, oh he's, he's ready. Hey, wait, let me turn over here. 
Oh. Too much. Yeah. He already got it. So he would take chunks out of there, right? Well, oh yeah, you just watch. He'll shake it. He'll start real slow and then he goes fast. And oh, there's a chunk. Holy crap. This he's whole deep. chunk missed oh, already. He's yeah. reversed. There's a, we've got teeth about like a Doberman's canine or whatever. And uh, just, but they're built like your mouth, you know? They're all oh. close together. Oh my God. That's the one that scares me. <laughs> More than the he's wolfish? Eating, yeah, yeah. Well, in a different way. In a different, in a different way. way. <laughs> yeah. This one's like nice and finger. The wolfish is like, Oh, the fish is still alive. Oh, no kill him, bro. That's so he, sad. He usually bites the tail off first and then he can eat it at his leisure. He like he like reverses that. around. Yeah, he's uh, he's he, never, he likes to play with his food because <laughs> because I had one before and every time Profita's in the tank, he would eat the back half and then watch the fish just sit there and, and die. They're, they're evil. They claim that that fish has a bigger brain than any other known freshwater fish. Their head's a positive, their tail is a negative. And they've got like a radar around, you know, anything moves. It's kind of like a ampulla of a shark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I believe it. I mean, yeah, it actually, electricity. It looks like they're affiliated, like affiliated with the sharks and that type of species. Yeah. Crazy. But look at it. It's wild. He's, he's still eating. It's been over, pretty much over a minute, just going around with his fish, taking chunks. And that's, that's the problem with the Ababa right there. If that was a tank mate, he would definitely be an appetizer. Dude, look at that. That's crazy. <laughs> he sure didn't mean to be named Slim Shady, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Francisco, thanks for the show. Yeah. We're going to uh, hopefully see you soon. So I love these types of rescues. Like, you get to meet big you know, all types of guys. Like, these guys are super cool. Look at this place. Amazing, beautiful place. But, you know, as oh, wait, the people, wait, stop. Oh, my son. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Wow, what a hey, set. <laughs> I, I was just talking so good about you guys. Look at that. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, be good. We'll keep in touch. All right. See, like, you know, that's what I was just, I literally was just saying. That. So, Buffy. Zach, they were just telling me, he just had a stroke like two months ago. And look at this guy running around happy. You know, he blew up his finger and, you know, that's what I think life is all about. Be positive and, you know, bad things are going to come and you just overconquer them and, and become a better person, you know what I mean? And I love rescues like this, not even because of the fish, to get to meet the people, you know, the people that I get to talk to on the phone, on emails, and get to see them face to face and see what's their like. That's the best part. And not have, don't have kids, don't have kids! All right, finally, we're done. I jump off the fish. I got the documents right here. It's supposed to arrive 11.52 today, tonight. Problem is, Delta closed at 12. But as long as we're there, before they close, uh, hopefully we'll get the box tonight. If not, they're early in the morning. Uh, it was packed very well, so I think we shouldn't have a problem. Hopefully this time they won't put the box in the freezer like they did with the big Tamensis. And um, let's hope for Kevin's video to see if uh, the fish arrived good. The air primer arrived good, it's doing fine. Hopefully these guys will do the same thing. All right, so I'll send you guys back to New York. All right, guys. So how was your little road trip with uh, Rodrigo? Well, anyways, we are back in New York now. It's been a really long day. We started this day with the Arapaima, and that was at 9 a.m. this morning. Anthony, what time is it now? It's almost like 1.30? Oh, yeah, it's about 1.30 right It's 1.30 right a.m., so it's yeah. about 16, 17 okay. hours later, and this is the second fish that Rodrigo went to pick up. So you saw him box it, catch it, all that fun stuff. And now we're gonna see the results, the fruits of his labor. Let's see if he did a good job or not. We're excited here. All right. Oh, the bag is deflated. And oh my goodness, this is not good. All right, I can't believe this fish arrived like this. Let's quickly try to open it up and see if there's any chance that it might still be alive. Oh my God. That's, Can you see this? The fish is not even inside the bag. That's terrible. Holy cow. How the hell would this fish oh get out of the, the bag? Well, this guy's definitely done. It's such a beautiful fish. Look at this thing. All the hard work that we went into bringing it back here. Oh my goodness. I, you know what? I, I need to get to the bottom of this because 
I don't understand how the fish could have gotten out of this bag. The bag looks intact, right? Okay, yeah, but, I, don't, I don't see any. But all the water is out. Oh my. And what is that gravel? This is gravel. Oh man. So, how could the gravel be in the liner bag? I mean, even if the fish punctured the bag, those rocks should still be in the main bag. You think they must? Let's might open have up the main bag. Flip the box or something, or this is what I'm thinking. Uh, the airlines must have flipped the box over. I think because the box was so heavy, and maybe it was only they didn't have help to carry the box. They might like turn 100%. it, turn it, turn it. The fish is out of the bag, and all those gravel is out of the bag too. Nice. Oh, 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 it's right here. Oh man! Look at this clean slice. But even so, it's higher up on the bag, but it's very high up on the bag. The hole is not even the size of the fish. I mean, I'm sure it expanded because it's rubber or not rubber, but a flexible vinyl. But this is very high up in the bag. It's almost at where the knot was, where it was tied because the hole is up here. I'm thinking it. The airlines put the box. 100%. That it they must have. Yeah. The box is turned over. Water gets the out. The fish struggled in the folds of the bag and his teeth sliced open the bag. And while it was upside down all this time, the water came out, all the gravel. So while he's struggling, somehow all the, the gravel and everything came out as well. I had to have been. That's a shame. You know, and all the work and preparation we put into trying to minimize all the risks. But sometimes Just how it goes. you can't control everything. Yeah. I hate to say it, but this is the second time. You weren't here, Anthony. Last time... Me and Oi went to uh, pick up a Tamensis that Rod went to go pick up, and that thing was huge also. And the mistake happened there was the airlines put it in the freezer. Oh, my. So everything That's was terrible. perfect. You know what I mean? There was no problems with the box or the bags or anything, but the fish, it, the water just got too cold, and it didn't make it. It's just very frustrating, because I, I know Rod was really looking forward to this fish, and uh, we just don't seem to have luck with this fish. But... We still have another fish, right? Yep, there's, we do, we do. also a wolf fish. So instead of dwelling on that, hold on, let me grab uh, the knife. Try let's, and get to this next box. Let's make sure. We did hear the fish splashing okay. though, so. You did? Yeah, yep, okay. yep. So that one definitely seems to be in there. All right, so, but the box is a little wet, right? And wolf fish is also another fish that have vicious teeth. So let's pray that the bag is not ripped, but you see how wet this right, box is? Yeah, there is some moisture. Oh, it's moving. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought this was like a <laughs> rip in the bag. Okay. It's moving around. Yes, it's, it's swimming. Active. It's good. active. It's so, still some air in the bag as well. All right, at least <laughs> we got one out of, 100%. out of this trip. And uh, guys, I really don't know how to break this news to Rod, because I know when I tell him that fish is gone, he's going to be hard Yeah, he was looking forward to it. So, sure. uh, yeah, I know. You guys... You're gonna have to baby him on this one, okay? Give him some support. And uh, yeah, okay, this wolf fish is doing good. It's doing good. I mean, there is water in the bag too, so he definitely punctured this one as well. See, there's, there's quite a bit of water. But, still enough in the bag though for him to Yeah, but this is a much stronger fish. This fish can handle the, the abuse or tossing around. And <laughs> I think even if uh, it didn't have much water, it would still be alive, this fish. Let's see here. You know what, I'll just pour it out into this bag right. so everyone can see it better. Wow, look at that. So this is an Armara wolf fish, the meanest wolf fish on the planet. You dip your finger or your toe in the water and it's gone. I think it's worse than piranha because piranha, at least they, they get scared and they run. These guys, if they want, they'll come and attack. So. Let's start acclimating this one. I'm gonna try to find a tank uh, for himself and uh, give him some peace and quiet, let him recover from this journey. We'll be right back. All right, the fish is uh, fully acclimated now. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bag him up and then bring him over to the tank. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> let me their teeth are pretty wild. Yeah, those teeth are crazy. The last thing I want is to get hurt. Or the fish to get hurt. Come on, go in. Go He's in. definitely cooperating. All right, there you go. Okay, see? That went pretty well. Now, let's transport. Just because I don't want him curled up like that, he's gonna struggle more. I'm gonna keep him lengthwise like this. 
I would say he's a good, what, 14 inches? Easily. Easily, right? Easily. All to himself. No one bother him. No one's going to compete with him for food. Here we go. Come on, buddy. There you go. There's what a beautiful, your new home. What a beautiful fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Let's get a nice close up here. We don't have much lights here. Let's see if the. Okay, there we go. Nice. I don't think we'll have any problems with this fish. I'm still bummed out about what happened with the uh, the armadas. I want to thank you guys for uh, joining us on this. Adventure, I want to say, even though it's uh, ended on a sad note, but we'll keep our hopes up and hopefully we'll find another Amara, not Amara, another Armadas, Armadas. that can uh, join our future collection for our exhibit. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And in the comments, everybody try to cheer up Rod because I know he's going to be bummed. All right, so I'll see you guys next time.